This conference will now be recorded. So very good afternoon students. Today we are continuing with this chapter current and electricity. So in this series of lectures what we are doing we are just picking up various questions from J PPSS papers mainly J mains and J advanced papers. So we are taking questions and trying to solve them. So today also we have few questions on current and electricity part and here all the questions are from IIT JE main Two thousand nineteen, May two thousand nineteen. So let us start our discussion. So the first question says in a whitestone bridge, in a whitestone bridge. As you see in this figure, this figure, so the resistance PQRX, these are the four resistance in this Houston bridge. Approx see PQ are approximately equal. Equal. When R is 400 ohm, the bridge is balanced. So when R, let us say this is Okay, so some value R1 is equal to 400 ohm. Then the bridge is balanced. On interchanging P and Q, the value of R is the value of R is 405 ohm. Okay. Let us say this is R2. In fact, these are R only. So I'm just writing R2 and R1, etc. Okay. So this is the question. Then you have to find out find out the value of X. See what the question says that this is a question bridge when the resistance R is Actually, using Wheatstone Bridge, what we do? We determine unknown resistance X, which is connected between C and D. So all other resistances are actually, so say P and Q, they used to be known. And this R has to be varied such that the balance, see this galvanometer current will be zero or the bridge will be balanced. So that is what is done in with some bridge experiment when we try to determine an unknown resistance. So look here when P and Q are at this position that means when the P is between A and B and Q is between B and C and if the R this resistance variable resistance here it, if it is 400 ohm then balance condition that means ig is equal to zero is obtained further when this p and q are interchanged that means p is connected between vc and q is connected between a b that time if we if we uh, connect R is equal to 405 ohm resistance, then the balance a uh, bridge will be balanced. Okay, bridge will be balanced. Okay, and we know for a balanced Houston bridge, for a 
balanced food stone breeze so p by q is equal to r by x so this is what we know this is the condition for balance breeze okay now look this is suppose one equation number one and let us say when p is connected between a b and q is connected between b c so this is the balance condition and the resistance r is r1 which is 400 ohm and in the other case when you interchange p and q that time it will be q by p is equal to r2 by x okay or we can write p by q itself is equal to x by r2 and see this is equation number two so from equation number one and two what we can write we can write i am writing here we can write that r1 by x is equal to r2 by sorry x by r2 x by r2 x by r2 that means what x square is equal to r1 and r2 and hence x will be is equal to square root of r1 and r2 now you put the values of r1 and r2 we have written here see i'll now remove this part because i am done with this part so now if you put the values 400 here and 405 here then you just do the proper calculation then you will get nearly 402.5 ohm okay so this is the answer and option c is matching with our answer okay and this is the correct answer also we'll go to the next question so this question is again interesting a look in this given figure given circuit the cells have no internal resistance the currents in ampere passing through r1 and r2 respectively are so you have to find out the currents which are passing through r1 and r2 actually what i can do i can do i can just think that from this particular cell current i1 is drawn by the circuit and current i2 is drawn by the circuit from this particular battery now look i can apply Kirchhoff's current law i can just consider two loops one loop is this one suppose l1 and another loop is this one i take the loop in this way okay l2 so applying kvl for l1 applying kvl for loop one okay what you can write see here what is the current through this r1 the current is i1 plus i2 i hope you agree with me through the uh, in this branch so i1 plus i2 i1 plus i2 into r1 and that is is equal to the voltage of the cell that is 10 volt okay i can write this as equation number one now same thing 
now for for l2 what we can write now for l2 we can write loop 2 we can write see here through r1 it is i1 plus i2 into r1 and here it is r2 r2 And through R2, it is actually only I2 and in, into R2 is equal to 10. Okay. This is the one. Okay. So look here what we have got in this. So let us say this is equation number two. So from equation number or using equation number one using equation number one say i1 plus i2 into r is equal to 10 i can write using equation one we get 10 plus i2 r2 is equal to 10 that means that means you know this is i i2 r2 is equal to zero so i2 is equal to zero okay so one current we have obtained see if i2 is zero then from equation number one equation of one what we get i1 r1 is equal to 10 if i2 is equal to 0 right then what we can write i1 is equal to 10 by r1 and what is r1 r1 is given as 20 ohm 20 ohm and this is volt so i get 0.5 ampere current okay 0.5 ampere current so the first option will be the correct answer I2 is 0 and I1. So I1 is flowing. Sorry. I1 plus I2 that is flowing through. I1 plus I2 that is flowing through R1. So since I2 is 0, so it is 0 0.5 through R1. And I2 is flowing through this R2, which is 0 ampere. Okay. All right. So we'll go to the next problem. This is also an interesting problem. This is uh, from Kirchhoff's current law. You can see that so in the given circuit diagram, the current current I1, I4, I5 are given. So look, look here. You have to find out the current I2, I3, and I6 respectively. See, this is the junction, right? This is the junction. So, and you look here, the current I5 and I6, they are identical actually. I5 and I6 are the same. So, I have obtained one. So, I5 is given as 0.4. So, I can write I6 as 0.4 okay now look i have to find out i2 i2 you look i2 is what see if you just take this junction r so we are actually uh, applying junction rule applying junction junction or current rule 
KCL applying KCL at R at R. What you can write is I1 plus I2 entering and going out how much? I4. Okay. See I1 is given. I1 is 0.3 and I4 is also given. See I can write I2 is equal to I4 minus I1 and I1 is given as minus root. See I4 is given as 0 0.8 ampere and this i1 is given as minus so it will be plus 0.3 and as a whole it will be 1.1 ampere okay so i have got two things here i2 we have got 1.1 sorry 1.1 ampere and i6 i have got as 0.4 ampere now i have to find out what is i3 see look i3 if i consider if i consider this this thing that i3 plus i6 okay junction rule at q Okay, applying KCL, KCL at Q. KCL means Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's current law. So see, I3 plus I6 will be exactly equal to I1 plus I2. I hope you agree with me. And see, I3 will be then i1 plus i2 minus i6 now look i1 plus i2 is r see r i1 plus i2 is i4 right i4 is given as 0 0.8 minus i6 was how much i6 was 0 0.4 okay 0 0.4 So this is how we can see the current I6 will be again, I6 will be again 0 0.4, okay, 0 0.4, I6 also is becoming 0 0.4, hey, sorry, this is I3, I3 is also 0 0.4. So I have obtained I6, I3, and I2 is here 1.1. So I2 respectively, we have to collect I2, I3, and I6. I2 has to be 1.1, but other two will be, see this point 0.4, point 0.4. So this is the answer. So option one will be the correct answer. So this question seems to be very simple. So you have to do it very carefully. Uh, in fact, this questions, all the questions I have taken today are from J I T J Mains 2019. Okay, uh, I T J Main 2019. We'll go to this problem, and this problem is again a very interesting problem. Look here in the given circuit, the internal resistance resistance of the battery, 8 volt battery. 8 volt cell is negligible, so there is no internal resistance, so small r is 0. If R1 is equal to, if R1 is equal to 400 ohm, R3 is equal to 100 ohm, R4 is equal to 500 ohm, and the reading of an ideal voltmeter, reading of an ideal voltmeter ideal voltmeter voltmeter across across r4 is 
फाइव भोल्ट दैट मीन्स वोल्टेज अक्रॉस दिस गाय इज ऑप्टेड एज फाइव वोल्ट ओके नाउ डू वॉट यू विल डू जस्ट थिंक दैट द कारेंट थ्रू आर वन इज आई वन and that current will be actually divided into two i2 and this is suppose i3 okay i3 now you look i3 into r4 we, we can write this as that's 5 volt i hope you agree with me so i3 will be 5 volt sorry 5 volt divided by r4 r4 is again How much? 500. So it will be in ampere. So this will be 100, one over 100 ampere. Okay. I have obtained the current in this branch. So what will be the voltage drop across V3, R3? So that will be the current into the voltage. Current is I3, right? So that is, see, this is R3 is given again 100 ohm. And the current I three is one hundred one over hundred ampere, so this will be actually one ampere. Okay, therefore you can see the voltage across V two R two is V two. So voltage across these two branches, uh, sorry, sorry, these two points, we have obtained as one plus five volt. That is six volt. So voltage across R2 we have found out, okay. Then the rest of the voltage will be across R1. So that is V1 say, and how much will be that? That will be 18 minus 6 volt. The rest of the voltage, so that will be 12 volt. So we have obtained the voltage across R1. So can we find out current across R1? That is. I1 that is voltage across voltage across R1 voltage across R1 is V1 divided by R1 V1 is how much 12 R1 is how much 400 400 so this is 3 this is Hundred three by hundred. So I one is three by hundred. Three by hundred. And I two we have found out. I two. So what is the question? Question is actually we have to find out what is R two. What is R two? So we we can actually find out what is I two now, because I two will be I minus I one minus I one. Therefore, I two is equal to I one minus I three. What is I one? Three by hundred. What is I three? <coughs> That is one by hundred. Okay, that means it is two by hundred ampere. I two I have found out. Then what is R two? R two will be V two by I two. V two is given as how much? V two is given. Sorry, R two is given as V two is actually six ohm. V two is six ohm. I two is obtained as obtained as two by hundred. So two by hundred. This is in ohm. So this is three hundred ohm. Okay, the value will be three hundred ohm. Value of the resistance two will be three hundred ohm. Let us see whether there are options. Yes. So option C will be the correct answer in this case. Okay. Now we'll go to the next problem again. 
what is the next problem the next problem says i have to write here actually let me draw the circuit diagram first okay say So here voltage is zero. This is a switch. This is two ohm resistance. Suppose the current passing through this is I, and in the figure according to the figure, this is I one. This is Curie volt. This is two ohm. So current is flowing this way. I1. This is I1. The same I1 is here actually. Then here, let me just write the question when when the switch is when the switch is in the circuit in the circuit zone is closed is closed then the value of the current then the value Then the value of the current I will be I will be there are options here. Options are A is 4 ampere. Option B says it is 3 ampere. Option C says it is 2 ampere. Okay, so let us say this is the circuit is closed. So circuit is closed means it is like this. Okay, that means the current is flowing through this. And this point is given as a C point. Okay, C point. I'll write the point name. Here it is B. Here it is C. And here it is A. Okay, here at this there is no name. Anyway, you can look here. So the current is flowing actually from this way. Another current that is I2 is flowing. I2 is flowing in this way. So they will come and meet over here. So according to according to Kirchhoff's law, what we can get? So according to KCL, according to KCL, sorry, according to KCL, according to KCL, we can write that I1 plus I2 is equal to I, right? This is O1. Now, what is I1 and I2? Look, I'll write here, I1 is equal to, see if I say voltage over here is Vc, and this is V12, so Vc minus v uh, Va is equal to, uh, by, divided by two, okay? And I2 is equal to, I2 is this way, so that is, VB minus
भी बी इज कमिंग आउट एंड भी सी माइनस बी सी बिकॉज दिस इज टू ओ होम अगेन सॉरी दिस इज फोर ओ होम फोर ओ होम सो आई हैव टू राइट हेयर फोर so let us see what are this values bc v etc see if i write bc and va bc is how much bc what is the bc value over here so this two will be actually added to this i right this is i so i will be again i will be i mean say at this bc minus 0 divided by 2 okay that is i so now if we equate these things look what we have got bc minus va bc minus va divided by 2 ohm that is plus vb vb minus vc for okay so now from both side if we solve it what we will get so this is 2 2 into vc minus v a is equal to is equal to vp minus vc okay now va is already given okay and we have got from here v c is equal to 2i okay v c is equal to 2i so if we put that value in this way we'll get the current c in place of v c you can write bc by 2 we can write as i bc by 2 is i or bc is equal to 2y two into bc when bc two into va okay vb minus bc and if we put the value of bc is equal to bc is equal to 2i okay then we will be able to find out actually i is equal to i is equal to vc by 2 and vc This is equal to ten. So this is ampere. So this is five ampere. Then 
Okay, this is how you have to solve this problem. We'll take up one or two more problem. Let us let us just discuss one more problem. This is a nice problem. A cell, a cell of internal resistance, internal resistance, resistance, smaller drives, drives current through, current through. current through an external resistance an external resistance capital R the power delivered the power delivered delivered by the cell to external resistance resistance will be maximum will be maximum when r is equal to 2r b is equal to sorry b option b says r is equal to r that means external resistance and total internal resistance has to be the same and third option says external resistance equal to 0 point 0 point 0 0 1 r and option d says it is 1000 r so what is the answer Question is for a cell of internal resistance R drives current through an external resistance external resistance capital R the power delivered by the cell to the external resistance will be maximum when when this small r that means the sum of the internal resistance sum of the internal resistances will be exactly equal to the external resistance so that will be actually answer this can be shown okay this can be shown so see the expression for uh, maximum power delivered will be n r by m okay so this expression see when there are there are m cells m cells m number of cells joined in series so this is m is the number of cell number of cells joined in series in series and n is the n is the n is the number of series 
sorry a number of row number of row number of row of the cell combination okay cell combination i'll tell you what it is okay combination okay so look if there are there are m cells like this they connected in series and if there are obviously these cells are taken as identical each of them having emf e and internal resistance r so if suppose you have okay if suppose you have such row okay so such so there are actually m cells okay this is suppose a uh, one it goes up to m cell okay this is suppose the m cell and in this way in series uh, okay in this way there are one so if sub, such n series are there okay on n series okay all n having the same capacitors so there are see m number of cells like this there are m number of cell connected in series and if there are uh, such series combination makes an uh, like array of such n rows then the maximum power delivered will be r by r by n into r by m n into r by m and now n is equal to for a single cell see here it is given a cell of internal resistance r so here both n and m will be one 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 cell that means one series uh, yes one series and one column coulomb so if m and n are a one equal then r is equal to r is equal to smaller okay so this is how when the power will be power delivered will be maximum then like uh, the condition has to be external resistance would be equal to the sum of the internal resistance okay now we'll have one more problem then we'll stop okay so these are all actually from 2019 j main paper two electric bulbs are rated <clears throat> two electric bulbs electric bulbs rated 25 watt 25 watt 220 volt and 100 watt 220 volt are, volt are, are sorry are connected in series are connected connected in series across a across a 220 voltage source 220 voltage source 
voltage source. If 25 watt and 100 watt bulbs draw, if 25 watt and 100 watt bulb 100 watt bulbs draw power power draw powers p1 and p2 respectively p2 respectively Okay, respectively, then, then there are four options which are given as P1 is equal to 16 watt. 16 watt p2 is equal to 4 watt option b says p1 is 4 watt p2 is 16 watt c says p1 is 9 watt and P2 is 16 watt and last option D says it is P1 is 16 P1 is 16 watt 16 watt and P2 is 2 is 9 watt so which among these options are correct so look what we have to do is we can so they are connected in series right so see I have two bulbs one is 25 and 220 volt this is the level so what is the resistance in this case see we know p is equal to sorry p is equal to v into i okay v into i v into i and v is equal to again i square r or b square by r i don't know what is the current in fact we can do that but i am just doing b square by r okay what is that b square by r so let us say this is 220 whole square by r okay so from here directly we can find r what is that r r is equal to 220 volt whole square divided by power dissipation okay this is bulb one and similarly for bulb two sorry 220 whole square divided by divided by uh, 100 watt it was so this will be 100 over here okay so we have obtained the resistances now these two are actually connected in series to a battery okay so this is also 220 volt battery or source now you have to find out what is the power cons consumed by this r1 say this is r2 So
we know in case of series resistances will be added up right so first of all we have to find out what is the current current through the circuit okay then we will do the same thing here b square by r okay or i square by sorry i square r will do so first of all what is the current flowing through this if we can find out so what is the current current will be actually 220 220 by r 1 plus r2 right so if you just look here r1 plus r2 is this factor is actually common and you have here 1 over 25 plus 1 over 1 over 100 so this will be 4 plus 1 5 5 by 100 5 by 100 means 1 over 20 so 20 to 22 by 20 okay so we can write it here 220 divided by 220 whole square divided by 20 which i can write here actually this is 20 here so one goes up so 20 divided by this to 20 this to 2 goes so 1 over 11 okay 1 over 11 so this is actually current so i square r if i just find out the power p you want to be i square okay i square i square so i is same for both actually here and that is 1 over 11 ampere i square i square r1 r1 is actually 220 square into 25 over here so i square is again So if I do I square by R, I have yes, I square is I square R. Sorry, I square by R, not I square by R. I'll go to the next page. So P1 will be, look, the P1 will be actually I1 square R1. So I1 is 1 over 11 whole square into R1 was 220 whole square divided by 25. So this will give you actually, see here, this is square. I can write this under the square okay so this is 5 25 so this is actually what so this is 2 so this is 4 4 by 25 4 by 25 2 so this will be 100 actually because there is one 10 here so this is Four again so this will be 16 watt similarly if we go for p2 p2 will be 1 over again 1 over 11 11 and here it is 220 into 220 divided by 100 okay so this will be 2 here 2 and here will be 100 again so it will be 4 okay this will be 4 what 
so this is how we have to solve the problem in fact we have uh, many more problems from this uh, like in this chapter we'll try to go up to the current years like uh, 2020 2022 j main and as well as advanced papers then we'll leave this chapter and go for the new okay so we'll stop it uh, stop it here for today we'll meet again on the next day okay bye for today